Here we see a nice example of free walk. The mare's head and neck are reaching forward and down. Her nose is in front of the vertical and she's stepping well over the prints of the front feet. The regularity of her walk is good. Watch the beats of the walk and the sequence of footfalls. Left hind, left front, right hind, right front. So the sequence will go if we start with the left hind. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. The rider's hands are low and following and his upper body and seat are staying nice and quiet. Now we see another horse rider combination. This mare is much smaller and younger than the first horse, so her overstep is not going to be quite as great. The rider in this picture is a little bit too busy with her seat and her upper body. While the mare is walking nicely and her nose is in front of the vertical, the rider needs to have a quieter upper body. Here we see the same rider, but this time working on her position. The rider here thinks about keeping her upper body still and letting her seat follow. In other words, as the rider, we don't want to do anything that we don't need to do at the walk. We want to follow the horse, but not block the horse. One of the hardest things to do while riding is to sit still. So allow your free walk to give you that time to practice sitting quietly and relaxed. The free walk allows the horse's muscles to get warm before we ask too much of them. It's also a great walk to use for your cool down before the horse goes into the stable. As the horse walks, we want to think about allowing the rib cage to alter between our left and right leg. So when you use your leg, you can use your left leg and then your right leg as if you were walking down the street with the horse. Again, keep thinking about following with your hands, keep your hands low and towards the mouth, encouraging your horse to put their nose in front of the vertical. Take time with this and remember not to neglect your free walk. This can be done with a horse of any age at any level.